Are you looking for an affordable solution for hosting? Well, I'm going to show you Ulta Host. It has that combination of good limits and good pricing. So let's go check it out right now. Once you jump into the link provided in the description, you're going to find out that Ulta Host has a bunch of services available, not just your typical shared hosting and VPS. They have a bunch of services. And in this case, I grabbed the VPS for my own and I've installed it on my VPS manager. Now, in this case, let me show you what you can expect from Ulta Host. First of all, they have great pricing, like I mentioned in the beginning. Now, they have a comparison chart between several popular hosting companies and they are on the cheapest ones. Now, be aware that these are some of the ones they mentioned, but there's several more available and they are in the cheapest ones. So they, it is true. It's not fake. Now, you can get a shared hosting for $3.29 per month, which is pretty cheap. But what I like about it is that they also have better limits than several of these hosting companies. Now, for example, let me show you the shared hosting. So in this case, like I said, let me go into compare plans. Let me show you this. The cheapest one is $3.29, and this is what you're going to get. So first of all, what you're going to get is NVMe SSD, which is faster than just your typical SSD or hard drive. So that's included in this plan. In this case, there's one domain. If you're going to need more domains, I recommend that you jump into shared hosting, shared business, or shared pro, which obviously it's a bit more expensive. But again, like I mentioned before, the pricing is still affordable compared to other hosting plans. Now you're going to get way more limits, obviously, with bigger plans. Now in this case, like I said, I grabbed a BPS hosting. This is what I have. And let me show you the pricing table for this. I am on the BPS business. And you're going to get two CPU cores and two gigabytes of RAM and 50 gigabytes of NVMe SSD. Now, before I was using Vulture, which something like this in Vulture is around $25 a month. So that's less than half of what Vulture is charging. So yes, the limits are good and good pricing. Now let's go jump into my client dashboard. So my client dashboard, this is where I have my BPS and you're going to find your services right here. Once you click on it, you'll have a list of all your services available here. So let's just say that you bought from Ulta Host, shared hosting, a VPS, maybe another shared hosting, etc. You're going to have all your, your services around here. I'll click on this one that I have and you can see my price is $9.50 and it's based on this one. It's a Linux VPS hosting. Now be aware that you can install several of the OS systems that they provide. In this case, let me show you. For example, I installed Ubuntu. But if you need to install a different OS for your BPS, you can do so by doing it here. And there's a bunch of them available. Let's wait for these to load. Okay, so here are the OS systems that they have available to install on the OS. So you'll see they, ha they have all the popular ones, which is CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu. Let's go into the next one. And Ubuntu, they even have 22.04, which is the latest Ubuntu that's made for the public. So you can install that. You can select any one of these. Now, in case you installed the incorrect OS, you would go in here and install the correct one, reinstall. It'll ask you for the password to do it. And there's the ASO images also. If you need to install something based on these, you can do so doing it there. Okay, let's go back into my dashboard. So once you have your, in this case, BPS, you're gonna find your details here on the bottom. So wait, not here. I'll go into my service again. Okay, let me go into my service. And in the bottom, we're going to find our details. For example, the details that you're going to need is the server information. So when you install this on a BPS manager, we're going to need the primary IP and the password. So in this case, for example, I installed this BPS on server avatar and I have it here already. So here's my, my IP. I've already installed it here. This is my memory disk and load usage. So once you have your BPS, you're ready to go. You can start adding your websites, your PHP settings, your file manager, etc. You can have all of that in the BPS manager. When it's shared hosting, you have everything inside of Ulta Host. So you get all that. The configuration options for here, you got all this additional information, and we don't need that right now. So you can reboot, stop, shut down, or no VNC console. So this is really useful for the terminal use, the Xterms console, that's the terminal use configure network, and you're going to have your disk usage and bandwidth usage. So once you start loading in the websites and start using it, you're going to have the usage right here. If you need to change password, downgrade, request a cancellation, do it from here. If you need to add another service, you can do so by going into the store. So for example, this is the store. You have a tab here. So if you're looking for something else, and like I said, they have a bunch of services available aside from just your typical shared MBPS hosting. For example, if you are going to need a race, no, we'll find the server one, dedicated server. Now that's also a popular one. 
and not many people need this but if you do they have a really good affordable plan here for example this $99 with 99 90 cents it has an Intel Core i7 thread 8 with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM 512 gigabytes of SSD disk data transfer unlimited dedicated IP something like this would run you about 300 to 400 dollars in another service so yes again like I mentioned it is a great pricing now if you need more if you need a better Intel CPU, for example, Xeon, then you would jump into Ulta 100 Xeon, et cetera, and they have more plans available, all the way up to the Intel 2X Xeon E5. So you have all that available. So once you decide what is the best fit for you in terms of hosting, go ahead and grab it, check it out, and decide for yourself if this is the best option for you. Well, that's a wrap for Ulta Host.